Within this lesson, we will learn about Azure Cosmos DB core functionalities, global replication, consistency levels, and Azure Cosmos DB APIs. Today's applications must be highly responsive and always online. One of the most obvious challenges when maintaining a relational database system is that most relational engines apply locks and latches to enforce strict automicity, consistency, isolation, durability semantics. This approach provides benefit in terms of ensuring a consistent data state within the database. However, there are heavy trade-offs with respect to concurrency, latency, and availability. To achieve low latency and high availability, you must deploy instances of a database engine in data centers that are close to their users. Databases then need to respond in real time to significant amounts of changes in usage at peak hours, store ever-increasing volumes of data, and make this data available to users in milliseconds. Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB is a database service native to Azure that focuses on providing a high-performance database regardless of your selected API or data model. You can deploy Azure Cosmos DB worldwide across all Azure regions, which helps you overcome the previously mentioned challenges of maintaining a relational database system. Additionally, Azure Cosmos DB provides a solution for big data applications by providing the capacity for high volume, velocity, and variety in the data. The data stored in Azure Cosmos DB can be integrated with HD Insight for big data analytics via Apache Spark jobs. Azure Cosmos DB has four core features that are the same regardless of which API you choose. They are global replication, varied consistency levels, low latency and elastic scale out. Azure Cosmos DB has a feature referred to as a turnkey global distribution that automatically replicates data to other Azure data centers across the globe without the need to manually write code or build a replication infrastructure. Let us look into the Azure Cosmos DB consistency levels. Azure Cosmos DB provides five consistency levels strong, bounded staleness, session, consistent prefix, and eventual. The consistency levels range from very strong consistency where reads are guaranteed to be visible across replica before a write is fully committed across all replicas to eventual consistency where writes are readable immediately and replicas are eventually consistent with the primary. Let's look into Azure Cosmos DB's APIs. Azure Cosmos DB can be accessed by using five different APIs. The underlying data structure in Azure Cosmos DB is a data model based on Atom record sequence that enabled Azure Cosmos DB to support multiple data models. Because of the flexible nature of the Atom record sequences, Azure Cosmos DB will be able to support many more models and APIs over time. The MongoDB API in Azure Cosmos DB act as a massively scalable MongoDB service provided by the Azure Cosmos DB platform. It is compatible with existing MongoDB libraries, drivers, tools, and applications. The table API in the Azure Cosmos DB is a key value database service built to provide premium capabilities. For example, automatic indexing, guaranteed low latency, and global distribution. And the Gremlin API in the Azure Cosmos DB is a fully managed, horizontally scalable graph database service that makes it easy to build and run applications that work with highly connected datasets supporting open graph APIs. The Cassandra API in Azure Cosmos DB is a globally distributed Apache Cassandra service powered by the Azure Cosmos DB platform. This is compatible with existing Apache Cassandra libraries, 
drivers, tools, and applications. The SQL API in Azure Cosmos DB is a JavaScript and JSON native API based on Azure Cosmos DB database engine. Now that we have understood all the API calls you can make from Azure Cosmos DB, let's look into how can you migrate from NoSQL. To achieve a successful migration, it is important to keep few tips in mind. So instead of writing custom code, you should use native tools such as the Cassandra shell, Mongo dump or Mongo export. Azure Cosmos DB containers should be allowed prior to the migration with the appropriate throughput levels set. Many of the tools will create containers for you with default setting that are not ideal. Prior to migrating, you should increase the containers throughput to at least 1000 request units per second so that the import tools are not throttled. And Azure Cosmos DB has a MongoDB API and Cassandra API to provide a NoSQL service offering for two of the most popular NoSQL database platforms. And both APIs are protocol compatible with the Cassandra API supporting CQL version 4 and the MongoDB API supporting MongoDB version 5. Many applications can be lifted and shifted to Azure Cosmos DB without the need to rewrite the code. So let's look at the Cosmos DB throughput before we conclude this lesson. You can think of request units per second as the currency for throughput. Our use per seconds is a rate based currency. It abstracts the system resource such as CPU, IOPS and memory that are required to perform the database operations supported by Azure Cosmos DB. Costs are always measured in our use no matter which API you are using. That concludes this lesson. In the next one, we are going to learn about how to create Cosmos DB resources and data structure. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.